biggest difference when you guys have played well? Obviously, it's been up and down in ACC play. What, what have you done especially well in wins that you haven't done especially well in losses as a group? Um, just from meetings and being with the coaches, uh, Caputo is a big statistic guy. So um, basically, when we turn the ball over less, um, when we could test more shots than leave guys open, and um, you know when we uh, score off the other team's turnovers is when we tend to win more. Um, when we do the complete opposite of those, turn the ball over, um, don't really score well in the open court, and don't contest shots, um, you know, we lose. So, I mean, um, this is some of the things that we have to work on with a lot of young guys. Um, beginning of the year, it was more of um, guarding ball screens. We weren't good at that. We got better at that. Now it's just more on our uh, offensive side with turning the ball over, um, guys taking their time, do, making the right plays and stuff like that. Um, so I think you can see it in some of the games that we lost, <clears throat> like the Duke game. Every turnover we had, they scored a three on. So it was just hard for us to even stay in the game when we turn the ball over and they score every time off turnover. So um, we'll do a better job at, at that and continue to get better on offense. How does the first group change with Anthony starting? What, what dimension does he give you guys? Um, he definitely can stretch the floor. Um, you can switch a lot more with him at the four as well. <laughs> Um, it would, even me at the five, we can switch sometimes, one through five, but um, depending on the, the matchup and, you know, if they have bigger guys that post up much, we can't switch like that. But um, he definitely stretches the floor. Um, you have to guard him out there, so it opens the, the middle of the floor even more for driving, for drivers and, 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 and stuff like that. So um, with the, with him starting or DeWan starting, we have uh, – Advantage either way. Mario, how much did you guys need last night after last week? Um, we needed that win uh, um, a lot uh, to build our confidence um, for the younger guys to, to to keep them believing, keep fighting, um, and especially for the coaching staff as well too. You know, um, it's it's tough on them when we lose as well. You know, it's not just us out there. They have to prepare us and get us ready. So when we lose, they lose as well. So um, it was a good win. Um, we got it for us and for them. Um, our next two games are even more important. Um, but we're still taking it one game at a time. We, we realize we're in a tough spot right now. Even though we got maybe, what, four, four losses in the ACC, we're still in the middle of the pack. There's a bunch of teams with four losses as well. So we just got to take each game one by one and, and continue to play. Because um, my goals are to play in, in the postseason as well to get into a to into the tournament. So um, I try to instill that in the young guys. I know they haven't been there and they don't know what it takes. But I think me and Reed <clears throat> try to do that during practices and, and stuff like that. Like. You know, every ACC game is going to be like we just beat Boston College by one. Normally, when you think about Boston College, it's like, OK, maybe an easy win sometimes. But this year and in the past years, ACC has been getting better every year. So um, it's just the competition is way better now. And we try to bring it every game. I mean, the only time we, we think about that is before the game when we say we need this win. When we say we need this win is is looking on to the future. Like, if we don't get this win, maybe our future is not as promising. Um, but we never go into a game thinking, okay, if we win this game, we're going to do it. We're going to, you know, basically not overthinking the opponent. So um, that's what we mean by one game at a time. Um, but like I said, uh, we know what it takes to get to that, or certain guys on the team know what it takes to get to that postseason. So we just have to keep these these other guys, the young guys that haven't experienced that, motivated, 
and to see the bigger picture as well. And obviously Saturday's an, uh, an opportunity for you guys to, to build on your resume. Can you speak on that and then also the, the personal songs you have with their front court players? Um, yeah, Saturday is, a, is another big one. Um, I like us at home. Um, I know we lost to Notre Dame, but um, I think that uh, we could have won that game if it wasn't for the late game turnovers. But I think we're a different team at home. Um, we bring it, sadly, but we bring it more at home than on the road. But um, I think it's a different game plan for every team. I'm sure Coach L and the coaching staff have a proper game plan for us uh, for Saturday, and we'll see it today at practice. Um, but yeah, I just think that, uh, like I said, like I told her, one game at a time. Uh, we're not we're not going into this game um, overthinking them, thinking about Florida State or nothing like that. We have to beat North Carolina and then get to Florida State. So I know it'll be a tough matchup with their bigs as well. Um, we have a lot of young bigs. Um, I'm probably I am the oldest oldest big that we have, but. Um, I think they have a lot of talent. I think we're going to compete. Um, and like I said, we're at home, so we got to protect home court. I like us at home. In some ways, this is a transition year for the program, obviously, losing three high-end starters from last year, incorporating mm -hmm. four freshmen. Yeah. Obviously, you're the, the vet of the group. Would it be a huge letdown for you if this is a year that ends up ultimately in NIT instead of NCAA? Um, yeah, I've never been a part of anything but NCAA tournament. So I would definitely be um sad about that. But um I think I think it's just one of those things where you have to stay positive. I think right now that we we can make the tournament with this conference being so strong and and, and our future games that we have coming up, I think it's still very much so possible. So um I'm not I'm not getting down on the team or or the coaches or putting pressure on anybody to, you know, you know we got to win now. We have more games left that we can still possibly win. So it's, it's, it's still a process. It's still a game by game situation. So um, as long as we we keep our faith and, and play hard, follow the game plan, I think we'll be all right. How much time? I know there's not a lot. Of time to help nurture young teammates with classes and mm -hmm. practice and so much going on in your life. But how much time have you spent around Rodney and where have you, you know, tried to push him to get better? Uh, Rodney's my guy, man. He's um, he's one of those guys that, you know, don't get a lot of playing time. But if you come to one of our practices, you'll see he bring it every time in practice. Um, he's he's he practices like he want us want to compete for minutes. So and I mean that's how you're supposed to play. Even though he may or may not get them, um, he brings it every day in practice. Um, he's and he's also from the New York side too. So that's 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 my guy. I mean, he has a great attitude. He's a funny guy, man, and um, he'll be good. I, when I leave, I'm definitely gonna watch the next few years because he's gonna be special. They obviously rebound the ball, but mm -hmm. also their bigs. Uh, yeah. The importance of that, not just yourself, but the whole team. Yeah, um, we have guards that rebound the ball well. Bruce Brown is a ter terrific rebounder. Um, I think he needs to get in there and rebound, help me rebound. Dewan um, has to put on his hard cap and, and not be a freshman. He has to be, not think about being a freshman out there and just go out there and play like he's been there before and be tough on the boards. Um, Ibuka needs to come in off the bench and, and give us the energy, block some shots. To, um, defend the rim and rebound as well. And, and like I said, if, if Rodney get, gets in, he's a big body as well that can get rebounds and, and, and help us get stops and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna do what I do every night. Um, and I, I hope it motivates my teammates and, and the bigs as well to rebound just like me and, and put it all together Saturday night. All right.